Lord, I pray for the listener that they would be sanctified, justified, purified. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Lord, I pray that you would watch over them. Father, that you would call them back, that you would not let them slip away. Father, that you would be their strength and their joy and their peace. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would heal any oppression, any weakness that has been entrapped or ensnared by the enemy. Lord, that you would default that, that you would dissolve that. Lord, that you would in turn place your strength, your love, your purity in all of their body, mind, flesh and soul. Lord, it is within your presence that we are strong. Lord, it is within your presence that we are able to do the things and to know the answers and have solutions to things that we otherwise can't manage. Father, we don't know the way and I pray that you would increase the listeners' hearing and sight, that they may walk with a direction according to your will and purpose for them in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray. I pray, Father, that wherever the listener is right now, Lord, that you would be with them, that your heavenly river of water of life would flow to them. Lord, that you would nurture them, water them, Father, that you would give them spiritual food, that they may fly like an eagle in the sky, Lord. Lord, they are your possession. Lord, your seal is upon them. The seal of the Holy Spirit is upon them, Father. It is the deposit, the guarantee of things to come. But Lord, I pray that you open heavenly doors to them. That those things to come start to reveal themselves, Father. That they would be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, by the power of the Holy Spirit, and in the name of Jesus. Lord, just and true are your ways. Just and true. You are a God of justice a God of faithfulness, and I pray, Lord, I pray that your possession, your inheritance comes under your justice, your fairness. Lord, that they would be loved, protected by you, Heavenly Father. Father, I look to the heavenly realms And I know, Lord, that there are many, many places, many beautiful trees and fruits and waters, that there's gold and silver and lakes and valleys and and clouds and winds and beautiful things flying around, things that we have not seen. There is beauty, Lord. There is no sickness. There is no tears, there is no crying. That place, that heavenly realm, Lord, that eventually will be the life that we live on earth. It's the eternal life that we all seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. And the house of the Lord is us, it's our bodies. Lord, it is you that will seek within us So help us, O Lord, 
Help us to find you now and to welcome you and to to clean our house and to be filled with you and your spirit. Lord, I thank you for the listener. I thank you, Father, that you have blessed them richly. And I pray that you would bless them today with increase. Increase of faith, increase in strength, increase in experience of the Holy Spirit moving and dwelling in their heart and in their life. Lord, I pray that you would increase what they see around them, the signs and the miracles and the wonders in people around them. Lord, I pray that you would increase these things. Father, I pray that you would increase their excitement, their excitement and their joy to know that you are the God who saves, that you have a plan for them. And Father, I pray that you would enable them to let go of all of their self-will, to hand it over to you, Father, that you are the God who saves. You are the God who has a perfect will, a perfect plan. You are the God of all knowledge. Father, I thank you. I thank you for this day. I thank you for your righteous acts and your mighty deeds. And I pray, Lord, for the listener that you would do righteous acts and mighty deeds in their life. Father, that you would claim them. Lord, that they are painted by the blood of Jesus, that they are in complete protection by the victory Christ had on the cross, Lord, that Christ is in their hearts, that Christ has the same victory in this listener now, that Jesus is with them. Father, that 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 protection that the the Israelites had from the destroyer angel in Egypt, Lord, the blood of the lamb, that this blood of the lamb is over the person watching, that they have complete, complete protection by the power in the name of Jesus and by that blood. Lord, I claim them. In the name of Jesus, and I offer them to you, Father, as newly redeemed, Father, I pray that you would care for them as your flock, that they have come to you in a special place at a special time, and through the hand of your love, Lord, I pray you watch over them now in the name of Jesus. Shine your light on them, Father, that there may be light in any darkness in their life, whether that's a need for healing, healing of grief, healing of sickness, healing of trauma. Lord, shine your light. Be it healing of sin, of weakness, Father, shine your light where it is needed, in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye. In the name of Jesus, I pray for mercy. Thank you.